indefinite closure of Nord Stream 1 gas pipeline, announced last Friday due to gas leakage issues, according to Russian oil and gas firm Gazprom. A hit in gas markets resulted immediately in a price leap to over 30%, which sparked fear among EU nations that Russia will shut down supplies during the winter. Countries across Europe are considering taking measures to face the soaring prices. Germany, the spine of the EU economy and the most affected by the Nord Stream pipeline shutdown, has approved a new aid package of 65 billion euros so that citizens and companies can face the increase in the price of energy and inflation. The tripartite government coalition led by Olaf Scholz affirmed that they will be able to face the winter without restrictions, even if the Kremlin permanently closes the gas tap. The third relief package we put together is bigger than the first two combined. It is of a large dimension. We're talking about 65 billion euros when you add everything together, and we're talking about 95 billion if you include the first two relief packages. That's a lot we're doing. It's necessary. France, in turn, called for a response to the gas cuts by curbing Russian energy revenues and demanded that there must be consensus among all European countries. I think that the key point is to pass through this uh, winter without too many difficulties for European economies and European citizens. That's the key point. Uh, we have the G7 being united in the idea of capping the oil price with the view of reducing the oil revenues for Russia. Then there is the question of implementation, which will be quite difficult. You know that you need the unity of all the 27 member states. Despite the measures taken by the EU nations, Europe's economic outlook has darkened once again as rising gas prices could worsen the inflation situation. Growth expectations in the EU economies will have to be tempered according to gas flows through Nord Stream controlled by Moscow and possibly Norwegian gas pipeline, since a potential gas out is threatening Europe's biggest economies.